Hello everyone, it's Miss Tara from the Northwest Library and I'm back with my favorite picture books. We're going to start off with this book. It's a little bit smaller in size. It doesn't have a ton of text, um, but it does feel a little bit like a very first graphic novel. So this is called The Me Tree by Ashley Belote. And Mr. Bear is looking for a me tree, a tree just for him. And as you can see, he's having trouble. Look at these pictures. He's having trouble finding a tree of his own. You know, there's always other animals in it. So fun book, um, short, and some good vocabulary words in here too. Now, of course, next month is Valentine's Day. So I have a couple of Valentine's Day uh, books that you might want to look at. This one is not actually a Valentine's book, but it's called Viking in Love by Doug Sinekko. I hope I'm saying that right. Okay, this is so cute. So Viking sees a beautiful woman across the sea. See the beautiful woman across the sea? But she's way out across the sea and he doesn't know how to get to her. So he tries to send her a letter. Uh, he tries to get help from his cats. Uh, he goes swimming with it, but eventually he does get to the woman of his dreams. See, she's got her cats there, his cats there too. But his his um, his letter is all wet. So you'll have to read this to see if Stig, the Viking, gets the lady across the river. And then I do have a Valentine's book called Slug and Love. And this one's by Rachel Bright. Check that out. Slug and Love. And we see lots of other creatures that might be in love in the back too. And this is just a fun one. Doug is a slug who needs one thing. A hug. Will he ever find it? So great rhyming words. Um, there goes Doug. Doug the slug who needs a hug. All right, fun illustrations, great rhyming words. Um, just a good fun book. So if you're getting ready to reserve your Valentine's Day books, um, check out Slug in Love. So much fun. Okay, so now I have Awake. And this book is by Mags DeRoma. I love the illustrations in this one. This says, uh, a kid, a spider, a plan. So a little girl, her dog, and a spider. So Mags lives in a busy city, okay? A little bit more text in this one, but and she's not sleepy anymore, she's awake. What's my favorite thing to do is to pull out a book, right? And uh, she sees a spider, and she's very scared of spiders. So she uses her imagination to figure out what she can do. And of course, sometimes her imagination goes rampant, you know, about what a spider can do. And what she can do with a spider. But in the end, she realizes that spiders are good. And we'll have to, you'll have to get this book to see what happens. So, again, this is Awake by uh, Mags DeRoma. I love the illustrations in this one. This one is an alphabet book that I think is so much fun. This is called Doris's, Doris Dear Delinquents by Emma Ward. All right, so you can see Doris here with her dear delinquents, she calls them. All right, so this is an alphabet book. So Doris is a crocodile and has her motherly hands full with 26 misbehaved hatchlings. Follow along the journey through the alphabet as she tries to bring peace back to her home. All right, so great alphabet book. So with alphabet books, I love them because you have excellent vocabulary, okay? So Avery ate a goldfish. And Bella bit mom. Uh oh. Um, let's see. Ivy said icky. And Jordan jumped. Okay. Uh, again, great uh, word rec uh, letter recognition. For when you're going through the alphabet, you can say S is what, T is what, V is what. Violet is a violent. Great word. 
and your URL was unfair, so you got your use, right? Um, so in the end, we have all 26 delinquents. Just a really cute way to do the alphabet, I think. So again, this is Doris Dear Delinquents by Emma Ward. Love that one. Okay. I think this is my last uh, fiction book. This one is really cute. Only Ants for Andy by Jashar Awan. Super cute. Adorable. Um, and Andy only likes ants. Uh, Andy is very set in his ways. He has one favorite toy, which is trucks. He only plays with trucks because uh, they're the best. He only listens to the song Daddy Long Legs because it's the best. And he only eats ants for dinner, which makes sense. He's an ant eater. But he decides to go to his friend Sloth's house for a sleepover. And guess what? Sloth does things differently. Uh, so he heard songs that he'd never heard before. No Daddy Long Legs. Um, they didn't play with trucks. They played with uh, rockets. And for dinner, it turns out that um, his friend Sloth is allergic to ants. So they have grubs. So do you think he'll finish his sleepover? So you'll have to get only ants for Andy to find out. It's good maybe if you have a somebody who's picky and only eats cheese sticks for dinner or only eats, you know, grapes. This is Only Ants for Andy. Love the All the A's by Jashar Alwyn. Loved this book. And then I have a couple of um, non-fiction books. Well, actually this is a non-fiction. It looks like it's going to be non-fiction. Look at this beautiful book. It's called Trees, all right, beautiful. It's by Tony Johnston. I just love it. I was really attracted to it by a cover. And this is excellent, amazing illustrations and a little bit of text. So if you have a newer reader, they can probably do this with a little bit of help. So it says, trees love sky. They love all the blue above them. So super easy text, but awesome illustrations. Trees love clouds. They reach high to touch them. Look at that. All right, and then it goes through kind of through the different animals that you might see in a tree. So you see birds, squirrels, uh, what happens at night. Um, let's see. Trees make people happy. Look, the flying squirrels. Aren't those cute? All right, so this book is called Trees. It's probably one of my favorites for illustrations so far for 2022. And then I do have a couple of nonfiction books. This one is called Where Do Creatures Sleep at Night by Stephen J. Simmons, all right? So you can ask your kids, where do you think our dog sleeps at night? They might know. Where do you think the cow sleeps at night? You know? Let's take a look at what creatures do when you are asleep and the day is through. Animals sleep just like you do, but where and how? All right, so this goes through some different animals who are getting ready for bed and what they do, excuse me, at night. We have butterflies. This one has a little bit more text, okay? Um, so maybe a little bit more advanced reader or help from uh, mom or dad. So what do frogs do at night? And it does show what they do during the day. What does your goldfish do during the day? And what does he do at night? Ducklings. So a good um, book. Kind of talk to your kids about what animals do at night and where they sleep. And then my last book is called Walrus Song and it's by Janet Lawler. It says, what does walrus do? Learn all about how that these captivating creatures flop and plop and sing and play their way in and out of the icy waters they call home. So 
uh, just fun to read about a walrus. Um, look at this illustration, okay? So he's sleeping sideways with his friend Puffin. Where is walrus? All right, so nonfiction book, so you're gonna learn some things on it, but very easy on the text, okay? So great for a new reader. Fun illustrations, okay? Twirling and whirling. Look at that walrus. And this might give you a chance to talk about where you might see walrus. Maybe you've seen them at the zoo, but where are they out in the wild? All right, and uh, what they look like and what sounds they make. So this book is called Walrus Song, a lot of fun. And it is nonfiction, so you might learn something. So all the books that I have shown you today are at the library and you can reserve your copy uh, or give us a call and we'll reserve it for you. And that's all I have. Have a wonderful rest of the January month and I'll catch you in February. Thanks guys, bye.